I have indeed. Now this is a beautiful bird, and I wonder if you can guess what it is. Um, I'll give it. I'll give you about two minutes to send your questions in. It's sitting on a red-billed buffalo weaver nest. Um, look, uh, quite pale in colour. This is a bit of a trick question, but judging by the behaviour, can you guess what bird that is? It's busy. Busy raiding that nest at the moment, it looks like it, or trying to, trying to see if there's potentially any food in there. Well, we just had Chitra Dam at the moment, at the big dam. But that's very interesting. You see it, look, it's, I wonder if it's managing to get anything. So you see, it's got quite a long neck, sticking, sticking its head in there, trying to potentially get a chick, if anything, in the, in the nest. I can't see if it has got anything. Can hear Egyptian geese calling around us. Very interesting coloration on this bird. Now, you know, it looks like it's trying to actually tear that nest open a little, a little bit to get in there. Now, those twigs and sticks are all packed very closely together, very tightly together, rather. Uh, James Richard, you are correct, sir. Well done. It is an African uh, harrier hawk, a juvenile African harrier hawk. That is why it has that pale coloration. Usually they are grey in colour and they've got that beautiful yellow face. So this is a juvenile. Um, quite easy to identify, actually, judging board purely by the behaviour. For one thing, radiant nest like this and the way it stands and uses its wings as balance. This is really, really interesting to watch a youngster raiding a nest like that. I think let's just stick with it a little, a little bit longer and see, see if it does manage to get anything out here. You don't often see them raiding a nest for so long without them being mobbed and chased off. So let's see, you can see there are red bull buffalo weavers around there. They are mobbing it now and then, but it doesn't seem too phased. So um, some of you might be saying it's a gymnogene. Now a gymnogene is the old name for the African harrier hawk. It used to be known as a gymnogene. So you are correct in saying gymnogene. But the, the name that has been used for quite a few years now is African harrier hawk. Alright, well I'm going to sit with this African harrier hawk a bit longer and see what it gets up to. James has got a little bird he'd like to show you.